In this video, we will study the relationship between total, average, and marginal revenue. So, we have taken the quantity, we have taken the price. So, we can calculate your total revenue by multiplying price into quantity, which gives you 100, 160, 160, and 150. Right? We can also calculate the marginal revenue. 100 minus 0 would be 100. See, at units 1, you can calculate your marginal revenue, but at unit 0, your marginal revenue is nothing. 160 minus 100 is 60. 160 minus 160 is 0. 150 minus 160 is your minus 10. Let us see the graph. Let us plot the graph. Let us draw the two parallel graphs. On x axis, we always take output. We always take output. And on y axis, we take here we take total revenue, here we take average revenue and marginal revenue both. One, two, and then somewhere here 4 and then 5. Draw exact parallel graphs 1, 2, and then 4 and then 5. Right? Um, let's plot the on the scale of 50, 100, 150, and then 200. And AR and MR, let us take on the scale of 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100, right? So, at unit 0, your total revenue is 0. At unit 1, your total revenue is Your, what is your total revenue is 100 at unit 2 your total revenue is 160 at unit 4 your total revenue is 160 at unit 5 your total revenue is 150 so your total revenue curve will be this this is your total revenue curve Let's plot your average revenue now, uh, your marginal revenue now. At unit 1, it is 100. At unit 2, it is 60 somewhere here. At unit 4, it is 0. And at unit 5, it is minus 10. So, we will get a straight line. I'm not using Paper, uh, pencil and scale so not able to get a straight line you'll have a straight line of your marginal revenue curve then you can draw your average revenue at 1 it is 100 at 2 it is 80 at 4 it is 40 at 5 it is 30 So, this is your marginal revenue. Again, this will be a straight line. This is your average revenue. Again, this will be a straight line. Right? So, when your total revenue is maximum, your marginal revenue is zero. When your total revenue starts reducing, your marginal revenue becomes negative. When your total revenue is increasing but at a decreasing rate, your marginal revenue reduces or declines. Right? So this is the relationship between total average and marginal revenue. And this is again a very important question that is asked in your board exams. Do make these parallel graphs completely and make sure that your average and marginal revenue do not start from 
your y axis just because at zero output you do not have your average and marginal revenues right you have your average and marginal revenues from unit 1 so do not start your from your y axis right so let us see the relationship now the first relationship is dr is equal to ar into q or summation of mr the second relationship we have dr is equal to dr by q that we have done we have understood mr is equal to your dr n minus dr n minus 1 that we have understood fourth is when dr is increasing at decreasing rate your MR is declining right this we have done in the graph fifth when TR is maximum Your yeah, MR is zero. When TR is decreasing, your yeah, MR is negative. Right? And then your yeah, MR and your yeah, AR curves are downward sloping right your MR curve is below AR which we did in the relationship of MR and AR video that your AR is greater than your MR Right, so this, these are the relationships that we have drawn from the graph we made in this video and this is again a very important question that can be asked in your CPSC board exams. I hope you have understood this completely. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.